Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be... <laughs> I don't like this thing. Okay, um, sorry guys, sorry about this. I have no idea what just happened. <laughs> um, um, Hey people, today we make a video. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, well welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making video. I have no idea what we're going to be doing. We're just going to be hanging out, I guess. Uh, but stay tuned because we might do actually something do, 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 do something stews fun. <laughs> stew. So, I like how you did that. So you guys should definitely come out to Tucson BMX. Tucson it is BMX. in Tucson, Arizona. Um, and you should do that, yeah. Um, come out on October 30th, we're having a trunk or treat, right? With, like, cars and stuff. And we're gonna have a haunted house there, probably. Well, that's what we have right um, now. You're not, what? You are. Um, alrighty, guys, so we're doing the, um, haunted house there. Liam's gonna be helping me. Probably, he might be there. But, um, yeah, so come out to Tucson BMX. Here in Tucson, Arizona. Um, uh, come out October the 30th, 2020, clearly. We do this every yeah. year, so. <laughs> trunk or treat, we're gonna be doing a uh, trunk or treat there with blow-ups. There's gonna be blow-ups and stuff and a bunch of decorations. It's gonna be great. Yeah, yeah. Um, so we're gonna be doing some Halloween decorations. I don't know. I might be able to show you guys them. But, yeah. I don't know what I'm going to be doing right now, but so yeah, so, um, like, subscribe, whatever you want to say. Oh, I'm going to show you this thing. I have no idea how this stands up, but, um, it does. So, um, look at that. I didn't made this out of popsicle sticks. Which way does it lean again? Does it lean that way? No, it leans that way. You guys see it leaning, right? So you look at the base, right? And it's leaning. Whoa. But then this is flat up here, so it's kind of symmetrical. Not symmetrical. Y you know what I mean, okay? Liam, you. Watch out. Okay, so it's leaning over, right? But how in the world does this stand up? How in the world is that still standing up? That right there? There's nothing under it. It's just standing right there. With these two things on it. Oh, and then I have this other one that also makes no sense. You see that? It's on. It's just standing up. Also, don't understand how the entire thing is still standing up. But. Meh. So this is actually from a scene of the movie series Unfortunate Events. I really like it. Um, it's one of my favorite books. By, um. This is from the movie version where they get stuck on this thing and then they have to break one of the boards and it makes it go back. And then one of the boards gets undone while it's tilting back because it's loosening up all of it and it releases all the pressure. 
um, and then it goes back over because that board that was broken, which was keeping it straight, <laughs> held it and made it turn right away. So then they fall and they jump on a hill and this whole thing comes crashing down and all that's left is a door. Yeah. <laughs> and then the door explodes. You, know, you guys should definitely go check it out. It is based on the books by, um, uh, Lemony Snicket or, um, you know. What's the guy's name is again? That was a weird start to the video. <laughs> Happy holidays. Okay. Happy it is almost Halloween. It is almost Halloween. Okay guys, so today we're going to be designing the haunted house and in the next video we're going to be making it, so yeah, cheese. Right. So yeah, let's get started to the drawing boards, literally. Okay. Well, I'm um, see this then. So, huh? Oh, sorry, guys. Uh, just let me see. Okay, so we are doing. So I have some paper right here to like design it and stuff, right? Um, I'm not gonna be doing that right now. Um, right. First, I just want to take a look at this. So I was actually making tickets for it too. Like, if you want to make tickets, just if you want to. Um, you can, like, print out some things like this. This is what I did. I have this sheet, and it has all these right here. And then I have a blue one. I would say you want to do a lighter color, because this barely turned up. You can barely see it. Um, and then once you cut it up, you can actually see it better. But I would recommend... I was trying to look for a purple, but I thought it was this um, dark bluish purple. You know, it wasn't really that much of a purple, but, um... Yeah, so I just put, um, Haunted House, um, and then I put ticket number, and then I put the date. Oh, no. I just figured out that I printed all of these wrong. I put the date as, um, 10-31-20. We're doing this on the 30th, though. So, yeah. I did it completely wrong. I'm dumb. Well, I printed out, like, five sheets of those. I'm not doing it again. I'm just going to have to let it go there. So, um, yeah, you can just do that. If you want to do tickets, you can. I'm doing the tickets. They're each going to be 50 cents for doing this at the track. Um, you guys should definitely come out if you're in the area, you know. Um, so, yeah. Okay, let's get started on the actual design of it. So, I had a list. Oh, sorry, I need to get another piece of paper here. Go. Orange, it's sort of a Halloween color, right? Okay, let's just take a look at this first. So, we actually are going to have a bunch of things. We're going to have a homemade fog machine that I'm hoping we can have. Is a um, homemade fog machine. It's actually just going to be a plastic bin. The hole cut in it, and then there's going to be a little tube. We might have a fan. I don't think we will, though. I don't think we'll be having a fan, but it'll be powered by dry ice and boiling water. So we'll have our boiling water right here. Probably won't be boiling. It'll just be really warm water. And um, then we'll have the dry ice just kind of floating around in there. Just small chunks. We're going to add small chunks at a at a time so that it does that and then the fog will eventually with the lid on the thing it'll eventually just kind of spray out of there um so yeah and then we're gonna have that inside running inside the haunted house so what i'm hoping for the haunted house is that we're going to be using tents or you know um i forget what they're called but you know they're just like tent stand thingies I do not know what they're called, really. Hmm. So, yeah. 
There it is. So we're going to be using those, and then we're going to be having, like, black tablecloths, or, you know what I mean, like, at, that you find at the dollar store over them. And then we're going to have the entrance as sort of like this. It's just going to be the curtains like that. It's going to be them all wrinkled up, you know. And then we're hoping to do some stuff like... Oh, sorry guys, if you guys can't see that. But, um, yeah, so we're hoping to do some stuff like that. And what I really want is I'm think I'm thinking we're going to have it pretty straight. And then there's probably going to be one turn to loop it around. But So, let's see. I'm going to be looking at the entrance. So, when you enter, there's going to be a table outside of the entrance to it, which is where you're going to be putting turning in your ticket or buying it. You can buy tickets before you go in, and that means that you can skip to the front of the line for us. Um, if you have your ticket, you can go first before the actual haunted house opens. So, um... Yeah, I'm trying to think. Um, huh. So yeah, and we're gonna have it all foggy in there, right? We're gonna have some people actually under the fog in the corners and stuff that are just gonna be jumping out like clowns, you know? Be having clowns. And um, we also wanna send up some stuff. We're gonna have some strobe lights too, like purple strobe ones, so, I think I, that'll look good, well it's like dark in there, and then we'll have some like, um, little lights that are just kind of blinking, you know, hanging off the roof and stuff, and then we'll have some lights on the ground too, and um, what I also want to add is a table in there. Table with a guy on it who looks super sick or like, you know, like a zombie. And then we're going to have this guy right here. Um, he's a doctor from the bubonic plague or the black plague, you know, the plague doctors. They wore stuff like this. And that's who I'm going to be for Halloween. I don't know if I'm going to be in it, though, but probably. Um, so, yeah, I wanted to do that. And then it's going to loop around. I haven't really figured out. In the loop, there's just going to be kind of stuff. I, oh, yeah, I also forgot about this. There's going to be bones hanging off the roof. kind of bones and stuff hanging off the roof of these, the plastic chains, you know. People are just going to kind of put their head on them. They're going to be the light plastic ones, so it won't really be able to hurt them. We're going to have the clowns jumping out, and I think it'll be really cool. We're going to have, oh, also at the entrance, when you walk inside of it, I'm actually going to have, a little dog house right here, which is actually getting at this at Spirit, the Halloween store. They actually sell these things. It's like a dog that just jumps out. They used to have a three-headed dog, but now it's just a normal one. And it just pops out like that. So, um, yeah, I'm going to be doing that with a fog machine and stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to think. So I have like a list of stuff that we're going to be doing with Fog Machine. So we have Fog Machine on our list. We have um, costumes, like for, we might need costumes. I think everybody, we already have some people, some actors assigned. So um, I'll do strobe, strobe lights. Strobe lights, bones, bones, chains. Of course, they're going to be fake chains and stuff. Cloud machine, we have some, some extra lights that are be on the ground and stuff. Lights, and jump scare dog. Jump scare dog. 
and then some of the extra stuff like the um tents. We have the uh, tents and the um and the uh, tablecloth. So we're gonna have. I think we're only gonna have two tents, and then for the tablecloth, tablecloth. Let me think. So if we have. So for each side of the um tents, there will be two tablecloths, right? So if there are two on one side and there are four sides, and you do two times four, which equals eight, so then you have eight. Let me think. No way, but you don't do it for each side. You only do it for three sides. So it'd be two, t two times three, which equals six, right? So you have six for one. You'll have for the other one. The other two will only have two. So we're gonna have these two that are gonna be far apart from each other, and they're just gonna be lined with that. So we have six for the first one, right? Because we're gonna need them to open up the curtain. But for the for the opening, they're gonna be down long ways instead of, you know, that way. So we're gonna do six plus four plus eight actually because we're gonna do that. Plus eight, which equals I'm horrible at math. Um, eight. 9, 10, 11, 14, right? Is that it? 14. So we need 14. So tablecloths, we'll need 14 of them. That's a lot. Jump scared off. We only need one, clearly, but. It's, so what actually I'm going to have is a Halloween welcome mat. It's going to say, you know, we have, I can make a DIY when we're just find one, you know. Um, unwelcome, unwelcome to here, or like, turn back now or something, and it's gonna have the, um, the, uh, circle thing, like, the little mat of it, as you step on it, you know, to, like, jump scare people, and it's gonna have the wire attached to the doghouse, so this is gonna be in the front of the haunted house, so yeah, that's gonna be great. Um, so... The, the fog machine is going to be DIY. I want to do this with you guys. I don't know if we'll be able to, though. I want to uh, put it together. Once I put it together, I'll definitely be able to show you guys it, though. So, yeah, I think that'll be good. So, um, I don't know if I should say bye now, but, I mean... Okay, I'm going to just get the designs real quick on the white piece of paper, because that was just, like, the... Okay, guys, here is my thing. Uh, right now, you guys should totally pause the video so you can look at it. But this is what I have so far. Yeah, I added a little bit more stuff. There's actually two parts. There's going to be the indoor part, which is going to be the three tents, and the um, outdoor part, which is going to be a small little graveyard with a couple jump scares, you know. So, um, yeah.